Hey guys, I am Todd Custom, and I've got a really simple and quick tutorial video on how to help you guys resize your t-shirts. Now, I just got this t-shirt for Christmas for my sister, and I love tacos, but I noticed that uh, kind of the, the sides and the armpits are a little bit loose, and I like my t-shirts to be nice and fitted. So maybe you lost weight, or you've got other shirts that you wish were fitted, or you found the perfect shirt that you wanted, but it was too big. There's a really simple technique that you can do in about 5 or 10 minutes that's going to make your shirts look perfectly fitted to you. So to tailor any t-shirt, all you need is any basic sewing machine. So we're going to use our new brother. Uh, you need your t-shirt, and you need an iron. Now, before we get started, it's important to identify that there are two different methods that t-shirts are manufactured. Both of these are very easy to do. This shirt, for example, was made by paneling fabrics together and sewing them. So you can clearly see a side seam running down the side, and if you open this up, you can see a nice serge seam on the inside. So it's really easy to work with this, because you know exactly where your side seams are. Now, this type of shirt is manufactured on what's called a cylinder loom, where there are no side seams. This whole tube of fabric is printed all at once, so there's not actually any side seams anywhere. So what we have to do is we have to iron this as flat as we can so we know exactly where our sides are. So with our seamless shirt, uh, I'm gonna lay this on an ironing board. And one good indicator is that the sleeve usually has a seam like this one does here. So that usually tells you where the center of your side is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay this seam as flat as I can against my ironing board, and then I am going to do my best to lay this as flat as I can against the ironing board. Okay, so once your iron is nice and hot, all you want to do is just iron uh, from the corner of where your sleeve ends all the way through the armpit, and then all the way down your side seam area until you get to the bottom. So it should look something like this when you're done. Now I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna do my other shirt real quick and then we're gonna show you what the next step is. When I'm doing a seamless shirt, I always do it where it's right side out so I can see the logo and I can make sure everything is nice and centered. Uh, now we're gonna move on to doing uh, the seamed shirt. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So now we've got our seam shirt and I can clearly see where the side seams are. So uh, it's actually easier to do this if the shirt is inside out. So because this shirt has a seam, it actually lays very flat by itself. I might not even need to iron this, but I'm going to anyway, just to be very precise. Uh, so make sure you go all the way to the tip of your sleeve, through the armpit, all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so now we've got both sides done. Both of our shirts are pressed, and it's really important for the next step that your shirt is inside out. So because we pressed this one right side out, I'm going to flip this. All right, so we've got the inside of our banana shirt here, and because we pressed it, we can clearly see our sideline right here. Now, just to make this tutorial a little bit shorter and simpler, uh, I'm just going to be showing you how to tailor a shirt using our taco shirt. And so you guys are aware, the steps are exactly the same for either kind of shirt at this point. Okay, so now is the part where we have to decide how much we want to tailor our shirt. So if I hold my arm out, and I kind of pinch it to where I want the fabric to sit, that's as much fabric as we want to take off. Um, so in this case, it would be about an inch and a half on either side. You want to do it equally, uh, and I'll show you how we do that now. So I'm just lining up my ruler where it's at the one and a half inch mark here in the middle. And then I'm using my chalk wheel to mark exactly where one and a half inches is from the edge. All right, hopefully you can see where my chalk line is. I can see it clearly enough, uh, but now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so these are all chalked and ready to go. Now, before we move on, I just wanna mention that we all have different body types and different shapes. So if you're a guy and you work out a lot and you got big arms, you might wanna leave this so that the sleeve opening is as big as it used to be. Or if you're a woman and you want this a little bit tighter around your waist and you want your hips to have a little bit more room, you could leave your chalk line so it goes to the natural opening. So please just do whatever works for you and practice on a few shirts until you get the hang of it. So now that we're all settled with everything, we can take this over to our sewing machine and get started. All right, so because we're working with a knit or a stretchy fabric, it's really important that we don't use a straight stitch. A straight stitch cannot stretch and it will break. 
Now, if you have a brother machine, you can do the lightning bolt stitch, which is a very narrow kind of lightning bolt shaped stitch, which will allow your fabric to stretch. If you have a different type of machine, you can just do a very narrow zigzag stitch, and that will also allow your fabric to stretch. Now that our machine is set up for doing a stretch stitch, uh, I can clearly see my chalk line is right here. It might be hard for you guys to see it, but what I want to watch for is I'm going to make sure that the bottom of the hem of my shirt is perfectly lined up so that it doesn't look uneven when we do this. Now I'm going to line up my chalk line and lower the presser foot. Now all we have to do is just follow the chalk line that we drew all the way from the bottom of the shirt all the way to the end of the sleeve. All right, now when I get to where the seam of where the sleeve starts, I'm just gonna do a very careful job to kind of guide my fabric so that it follows that curve. All right, now as I'm getting close to where the opening of the sleeve is, I also want to make sure that these two edges of fabric are perfectly lined up so that they look very even when we're done. Okay, now I can just cut my thread and we've got one side done. All right, now something else I wanna mention while we're doing our other side is when you're working with knit fabrics, it's really important that you just let the machine pull the fabric in. You don't wanna pull the fabric through and you don't wanna pull the fabric tight. Otherwise you're gonna get ripples and bunching in your fabric. So just let the machine do its thing and it's gonna turn out fine. And again, as I get to my bottom, I want to make sure that my bottom edges are completely flush so that I've got a nice clean edge. Now that we've got our shirt stitched all the way on both sides, uh, now would be a good time for you guys to try your shirt on to see how it looks. Uh, if it's still a little too loose, you can do another stitch, maybe half an inch or an inch on the inside of what you just did. Uh, and then try it on again to see if it fits a little bit better. So hopefully you guys are comfortable with how your shirt looks, uh, but something you're gonna notice is when you look at the inside of your shirt, you're gonna see this big kind of floppy amount of fabric here, and we don't want that. Now, once you're comfortable with the way your shirt fits, there's three different methods of cleaning up all this extra fabric. The first thing you can do is you can take a pair of scissors and trim very close to where our new stitches are here. Just don't trim too close so that you don't end up blowing out the seam. Uh, the second thing you can do is you can trim the fabric the same way and then take this to your sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch over the edge so that it will lock the inside of your seam together, which works very well. Now the third thing you can do is you can do a serge seam which looks just like this. And what that's gonna do is it's going to both trim and overlock this edge on the inside so that it stays nice and polished. So I'm going to take this to my serger and I'm gonna serge all the way along the inside very close to that stitch so that it looks nice and clean. So we just finished serging and as you can see, I did my best to stay on the outside of our new stitch line so that that would look nice and clean on the inside. All right, now we are officially done. So this is the way the shirt looks when it's inside out and you can see our new cleaned uh, inside seams. And when I turn this right side out, it will look like a very normal shirt that's a little bit slimmer than it was. All right, and we are all done. So I'm finally gonna get to try this on and see how it looks. I'll try to do a little bit of a before and after type of thing so you guys can see the difference. All right, you guys, we are all set. I actually really like the way that this kind of tailored out. And as I lift up my arm, I no longer have any loose fabric like we did before. Uh, one of the coolest things about this technique is it works for both men and women. We all have different body shapes and sizes, so please do whatever works for you. I'd like to take a moment to offer a very sincere thank you to all of you for helping this channel get over 10,000 subscribers. Uh, I did not think that was going to happen, but I really do appreciate it. And I'm very excited about making some new sewing and cosplay video guides for you through next year. I'd love to invite you guys to check out my website at talkcustom.com. I have a lot of pictures of things that I've made, events that I've gone to, cons that I do, uh, other tutorial videos and recommended products that I use. Uh, and if you'd like to check out my other work, you can find me at talkcustom on Instagram and Twitter. Um, again, thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you have any other comments or questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.